Alrighty, so a few people were asking me how to recover the refrigerant out of a refrigerator. So we're going to go ahead and replace this compressor today. Um, but I did want to make a quick video on how to recover. You, as I explained before, you need one of these um, subco bullet piercing valves. I'll leave a description below. And basically it comes with a little Allen wrench, a couple different fittings to um, fit your pipe, depending on the size, and the cap. Um, basically, you want to remove the little screws to open it up. And you want to pick one of these little fittings. The little fittings will go in here. There's a little groove. You can see the little tab right here. And you can put it in here. There's two different sizes, so make sure you pick one that better fits. For example, this one is a little bit big on it. So it's not going to be that one. And so you just set it like this. Put the bow. the triangle part towards the back just set it like this and put your your screws and you tighten up with the little Ellen wrench You want to keep it like this so it's easier to access it. Make sure it's tight, it doesn't move. And what you're gonna do, grab your gauges, you wanna grab your low side and hook it up to the back. Make sure your valves are closed over here. And this is called a piercing valve because what it has in the center has a little needle. So when you tighten it in, it does a little pinhole um, hole basically into the pipe. And it seals it at the same time. But when you loosen it back up, it will allow the refrigerant to come through the gauge. So once again with your little supply Ellen wrench, just turn clockwise until you can't turn. Okay, so it has been pierced. 
So now when I when I release it, when I open it back up, you're gonna see the refrigerant. Okay, so we need to tighten up the See that a little bit more. tighten it as much as you can that way it does a good seal and it won't leak when you open the valve as tight as I can pretty much get it. Well, it must be at the effect of bow because So now we're gonna hook up our pump that we made the other day. Let's see. So you wanna put this in the discharge line, hook it up over here. And what you wanna do is um, set up your scale so you can see how much refrigerant you have recovered from the machine.
plug in your pump. Turn on your scale. Set it to zero. And Open it up. Now this is going to be a slower process than with the regular vacuum, but it works. And that is how you do the recovery process. Um, when this gauge obviously starts moving, then you know you're done. You want to open up this line as much as you can, so it's as quickly as possible. The process is going to take about 20-30 minutes. The um, refrigerator has about 6 ounces or it should have at least six ounces of refrigerant. Um, it moved, so I stopped it and reset it a little bit ago. Um, so we're at about a half an ounce. Back in the field. Alrighty, so we're just about done. You look at my gauge, it's in a vacuum now. And it stopped moving over here. So I believe the system probably had a leak because it didn't have the six ounces of um, refrigerant. Five point something six. I haven't looked at the tag, but anyways. One more time, wanted to show you. And alrighty, now that we're done, as you can see, it's still open. And if I remove the hoses, nothing comes out because we evacuated it. Now you can remove these, cut your lines, replace your filter dryer, and in our case we're replacing the the compressor. 
raise everything back on, pressure check it, and charge it. Um, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day.